Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all bros where I'm from, man. I'm from that. This little motherfucker just disrespectful. Yes. You know what I mean? I yeah. seen him at the fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? He he look at me and he playing because he think everything's a game. Yeah. But he don't yeah. understand that I will beat the fuck out of him and his yeah. daddy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't go around with security guards. I don't got this big ass entourage with me. Yeah. And everybody know that. Yeah. Why? Not because I'm the baddest man on the earth. Yeah. Not because because I think I beat up everybody because I know what I'm about. I'm yeah. comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. I don't try to portray to be nobody. I don't bother nobody. Yes, sir. I walk around as I please, come as I please, go yes, as sir. I please, and I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Try yeah. to be something that I'm not. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. if I wig out, it's for a reason. And when yeah. I wig out, it's gonna be something different. Yes, sir. He see me and he laugh and he like, man, we gonna fight. I said, okay. Hey, this month to check his dad because yeah. his dad slapped my shoulder yeah. trying to get some attention after my fight. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And it's on camera. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, all right. So I go to his dad. I yeah. said, hey, if you ever put your motherfucking hands on me again, yeah. I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. And he like, oh, man, we just want to fight. We just want to fight. And Tio, Tio like, no, no, we just want to fight. We just want to fight. I said, shut your bitch ass up while grown folks is talking. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm pointing in his dad's face because now I'm getting mad. I'm yeah. like, like I said, if you ever put your motherfucking hands on me, yeah. again, I'm gonna beat your ass. Yeah. What's it up, baby? Y'all didn't know who it is. That big boss hog, boss dog, can't poke through the door. Hit the top of this box and forget about soliloquy. Baby, tough times don't last. Good people do. Don't know if you still caught them in their line. Maybe you mad at Pete Gang. Pete Gang, 84 on West Swain. Your boy tired. I'm going to a doctor. Pray for me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I told y'all, man, I'm gonna go get checked out. And uh, today's the day. Um, I got a bunch of content coming. I was just trying to make sure my body was good. I got a whole bunch of videos. I just got to edit them, put them out, and, you know, we'll go from there. But, uh, let's continue to, you know, remain at peace, man. Remain at peace, man. Don't, don't be stressing out. Don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. But let's talk boxing. Terrence Crawford speaks on the Teofimo altercation. Now, I'm going to post that video in the beginning of this video. So, you're going to, if you're watching this part, you did not already watched the video. It's blurry, but you can hear the audio. It kind of gives, like, the insight on what particularly happened. And, um, <laughs> Terrence Crawford basically said, like, man, look. The little dude disrespectful. And he's talking about Terrence. I mean, he's talking about Tio Fimo. He said, man, the dude is disrespectful. You know, he said, man, you know, I don't even really. <laughs> he said, you know, so I started talking to his dad. He said, I told his dad, I'll whoop you. He said, because the dad was touched him on his shoulder. You know, I think after one of his fights or something like that. And then, you know, he said, Tio Fimo had started saying some things and. You know, so he had to set Teofimo straight, you know, but he said, Terrence said, man, you don't see me with an entourage or a group of people because I'm not that, I don't move like that. Like, I'm not that type of person, you know, in other words, he's saying I'm a peaceful brother. You know, I don't walk around like I'm the toughest dude, you know what I mean? And I can relate to that because that's how I operate. Like, and I don't mean to put this on myself. But I'm tying it into this video to show like how truthful I, I believe in what he's saying. Me, I don't walk around. You will never see me with a group of people. You probably just see me with my kids or my wife. If I'm not with them by myself. I don't roll with a group of dudes. I, read, I never really did that in my life. I never act like I was hard. I never act like I was tough. I never act like I was gangster and I still don't. I don't think that, I don't move like that. You know what I mean? I'm just a grown man that stand on my tent. And that's always been my mentality since I was a young kid. You know what I'm saying? And so when I hear Terrence Crawford speak like that, and he's like, hey, you know, I don't ever move like that. Like, you know, he said, if you see me acting a certain way, it's because somebody did something to me. And that's the exact same way I am, peaceful. But I'm a reactionary guy. If you do something, I'm gonna react to it. In other words, I'm, you know, I'm gonna stand on my ten. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, I've always been that way. You know, I, I just what it is. I don't 
it don't mean that, oh, I can whoop everybody. It don't mean that. But I'm going to stand on my 10. You know what I mean? I'm not running from no smoke. Never ran from no smoke. I'm going to stand on my 10. And that's just my mentality. You talk to anybody who know me, they're going to say, man, he, he ain't even, you know, he ain't, he don't act hard. Like, he not, you know. But as soon as the disrespect comes, then you get checked. That's that's just how the cookie crumbles. That's how everything operates. Now, when like I said, when I heard Crawford say that, I, I was like, I believe him. Because every time you see Crawford, he by himself. You know what I mean? He by himself or he may be with like one other person, one or two other people. He's never with an entourage of people. You know what I mean? He's never with like six people. You know what I'm saying? He, a lot of the time he by himself. You know, so I got to respect, you know, I respect it. You know what I mean? And, you know, Teofimo basically <laughs> barking up that wrong tree. Because people particularly who move like that hold in a lot. How do I know? Because I hold in a lot. You know? And when you get to doing too much... Then, when they explode on you, pause, you got to be, you, you ain't going to know what to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's Crawford. If Terrence Crawford blesses Teofimo Lopez with an opportunity, Terrence Crawford is going to body bag and toe tag Teofimo Lopez. I'm telling you this. I, I, I'm just being real. It's gonna be a massacre. It's gonna it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be the end of Teofimo Lopez's career. I'm telling you this. I'm I'm willing to bet whatever. I know these young you know these Teofimo fans say, oh he rises to the occasion. He gonna be laying down. He ain't gonna rise to the nothing. He gonna be laying down. He gonna it ain't gonna be no rising. He gonna be laying down. Looking at. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna be sunbathing, man. For real. And Crawford not even trying to get in the ring with Buddy. Crawford trying to fight him in the street. Cause he like, bro, I'm tired of these games. I'm tired of the disrespect. These are the things that I'm talking about with with these with these young dudes, bro. Like it's like they don't care about their life. Like they just You know? It's 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 crazy to me. It's like what are you doing, bro? I get it. You know what I mean? You're a fighter. You want to fight. But there's ways you can go about getting a fight. Not going to lie to you. There are ways about going about getting a fight. Hey, I want to get a fight. All right, cool. All right, bet. Boom. Get a fight. You know what I mean? But he's saying disrespectful stuff. He's talking about the statement he made that, you know, you know, I'm talking about Tio Fimo where he was like, oh, I'm going to throw a banana to, you know, out and see which one of them grab the banana first. What you mean by that? What are you implying? You know what I mean? What are you saying? But you saw his energy was different when he was on camera and them so and they asked him that question and oh no I'm I'm not gonna do that. Nah, nah. It's like bro these boys man they get in certain environments. I told you like Pimp C say people always talk ish in a safe place. Just like on, on this internet. Man, there's a lot of boys I know. They be saying stuff over this in there. I know, man, if I was in front of them, they wouldn't say it. We 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 keeping it a thousand. It's a lot of these boys on this internet that say stuff. And if I was in front of them, they wouldn't say they wouldn't even dare say what they saying. Like them boys that be with that racist stuff that be saying that. It's like, and you know me, I'm not on that. Oh, I'm going to record you. No, you getting hands put on you. That's <laughs> that's the energy I bought. I'm not on no, oh, hey, I'm going to record you. And uh, No, you getting hands put on It's nothing to talk about. Like, hey, hey, I don't understand. You know what I mean? And like I say, it's, it, it don't mean that I'm tough. But the problem with this era is they're taking away the accountability factor out of things. People are not being held accountable. Right? That's the problem with our world, especially in America. No accountability. And I don't mean to get preachy, but they taking away the accountability. 
So people feel like they can do what they want, say what they want, and it's cool. All right, cool. It, you know, it's cool. You can say what you want, but understand there's a consequence that come with it. You know what I'm saying? They need to bring the consequence back. You do this, this is going to happen to you. You know what I mean? So think about this. You know, you can say it. Go ahead and say it. Or you can do it. Go ahead and do it. But understand there's accountability. There's going to be some consequences. They're taking away the consequence. So we shall see how this goes. But, you know, I it, it, when I heard Terrence Crawford speak, you know, about the incident, I was like, you know, because... I was going to make a video about this, but I was like, man, I'm going to wait because I want to hear what he got to say. You know what I'm saying? And once I heard his reasoning, you know, I was like, you know, two female tripping, bro. Like, <laughs> you know? And it's like, I, it, it makes two female look thirsty. I'm telling you, man, for money, bro, for a dollar. He's selling his soul for a dollar. So... We shall see how this thing goes. You know what I'm saying? You know, Tia Fimo barking up that tree. You know, Terrence might be like, you know what? Let's fight then. And you're going to see the end. The end of Tia Fimo Lopez. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bye, let's go.